On this episode of Rockin' Through the Grapevines, I'm gonna teach you how to make Champagne Shirley Temples for your New Year's Eve party. My name is Erin McAndrew. I'm an alternative pop rock singer-songwriter. I perform at a lot of wineries, so I try a lot of wine. Join me as I taste wines, chase dreams, and play some tunes. Welcome to Rockin' Through the Grapevines, where I try wines from all over the country, and some international ones as well. Instead of featuring a winery this week, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious champagne cocktail to celebrate New Year's Eve. Everyone knows that people drink champagne or sparkling wine to ring in the new year and celebrate new beginnings. And while you can just pop the cork and start pouring, you could also take the opportunity to make some simple but delicious champagne cocktails. One of my personal favorites is the Champagne Shirley Temple, which I learned about from a wonderful blog called Sugar and Soul. The main ingredient of a Champagne Shirley Temple is obviously champagne or sparkling wine. In this case, we'll be using pink champagne. Though most champagnes have a yellow or gold color, many champagnes are actually produced with red grapes, like Pinot Noir or Pinot Gris. However, the skins are removed from the grapes before the champagne is produced, which is why most champagnes don't have a red color. To make pink champagne, vinters leave the skins on the grapes for a little while to give the champagne a pink tint. Another method is to mix a small amount of red wine to the champagne. Pink champagne tends to be sweeter than typical champagne, so people who don't typically like the taste of champagne may change their minds after trying pink champagne. But like any other wine, every type of champagne has different tasting notes and varied sweetness. Everyone is familiar, of course, with the non-alcoholic drink, the Shirley Temple, which is, of course, named after one of my favorite Hollywood icons, Shirley Temple. The origins of the original drink aren't clear because different bartenders have claimed to have invented it as a tribute to the child actress. But one thing is for certain, in her later life, Shirley Temple admitted she actually wasn't fond of the drink because it was too sweet. Well, the Champagne Shirley Temple takes away some of that sweetness by using champagne. So why don't I show you how to make it so you can try it yourself? First, fill a glass halfway with ice. Next, fill three quarters of the glass with champagne. Add a splash of grenadine. Drop in a maraschino cherry. Finally, garnish with another maraschino cherry and an orange slice and then serve with a festive straw. And that's all it takes to make a simple, fun, and most importantly, delicious New Year's Eve cocktail. Make enough for you and your friends to toast with them when it's time to ring in the new year. As always, make sure you download my free music by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and until next episode, cheers and happy New Year.